Looks like it is official. Post-COVID, tourism is back to normal, if not at new heights here on the Central Coast. KSBY News reporter Taylor Hilo has details on the increase in visitors. The city of San Luis Obispo recently announced a record-breaking $10.6 million in transient occupancy tax. That money comes from the hotel stays and goes directly into the city's general fund, which in turn funds core public services. It's back and it's booming. We've seen one of our busiest years ever. Over the last year, we've really seen an influx of people coming into not just our area, but to the downtown. Tourism is soaring to new heights in San Luis Obispo. The money collected by the transient occupancy tax in 2021 to 2022 was 54 percent higher than the previous year. Every day we're seeing more and more guests who are coming in and those guests support the local retail. They shop in the shops, they dine in the restaurant, they drink in the bars um, and they use the local services as well. The TOT or transient occupancy tax is a 10 percent tax that is charged on all hotel stays equaling 10.6 million in the last fiscal year. The tax is overseen by the Tourism Business Improvement District or TBID, which is a special assessment district that represents all lodging businesses in the city. That team's marketing efforts gets funded through a 2% charge on all overnight stays. All year round, we've seen people coming, you know, not just on the weekends, but during the weekdays as well. Just last week, I saw a tour bus unload and it was so clear that they were all brand new to the area, had never been there. The TBID aims to increase tourism foot traffic through the city and as people continue to unpack into San Luis Obispo, more city revenue continues to come with them. In the city council's meeting last Tuesday, the city tourism manager presented all the numbers and the council has voted to declare the intention to continue the tourism business improvement district. In the studio, Taylor Hilo, KSBY News. A separate public hearing will be held November 1st to discuss the continuation of the slow tourism business improvement district.